Hi Naranka friends, this is Miss Gutierrez. I am one of the fourth and fifth grade teachers and today we are going to be reading The Paper Bag Princess. It's a story by Robert Munch with the art by Michael Marchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing that she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. It is true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath. Oh yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So when the dragon jumped and flew around the world in just 20 seconds, when he got back, he was too tired to talk and he laid down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, hey dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and pulled her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, hey dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over to the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you're a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you're not. They didn't get married after all. The end. All right, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you guys soon.